Good morning. Today is Thursday, January 7th. Let's add the next piece to our snowman. He's a snowball's a little uneven, just like if we made a real snowball. He's getting bigger. It looks like we might be done with his bottom part soon. Now let's take a look at your packets. So in our packet for today, we have our morning message. This one's kind of tricky. It says, Happy New Year. Today is Thursday. Can you fill in the missing number on each snowball? So what you have here are rows of snowballs. They have a number on them. And then there's one that's blank. There's one with no number. You have to figure out which number comes next. You use the numbers on the snowballs before it and after it to help you figure out what goes in the blank snowball. Let's make a number line and we'll see if that helps. So I'll take down my calendar. Forgot my marker. Okay. All right, here we go. So we'll write our numbers on our little makeshift whiteboard here. One, two, three, four, five, my five, a little uneven. Okay, then we can start a new row, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I stopped at ten for this. This is the ten all by itself. Ten is hard to see because it looks like a one and a zero. But that's the 10. Let's make it a little closer. So you have to put the one and the zero close together. Okay, now let's look at our snowballs again. So this one starts five, six, blank, eight. Let's look at our numbers that we drew. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven goes in between six and eight. So write a seven in that snowball. Now let's see what comes in our second row of snowballs. Blank, three, four, five. Let's find a three on our number line. Here's our three. Three, four, five. So we have to figure out what comes before the number three when we're counting. One, two, one. Keep putting the paper in front. One, two, three. Two. Two comes before three. So you put a two on that snowball. All right, now this row here are bigger numbers but I know some of you really like to count those bigger numbers over 10. So they are included here. We have a 12, 13, 14, what comes next? Let's draw the numbers after 10 on our whiteboard. I'm gonna erase these. Okay. So I have a 10, 11, let's see how they look, perfect, 12, 13, 14, 
15. And then we can go 16, 17, 18, 19, all the way to 20. We don't need to worry about this row right now. Let's look back at our snowballs. 12, 13, 14. What comes after 14? Let's look at our chart. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Held my paper up and run again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 comes after 14. Let's write a 15 in our snowball. So that's how you do your first page in your packet for Thursday. Let's see what's next. This is our big capital letter R. And it's filled with pictures that start with the letter R. What you need to do is look at the pictures and circle the things that begin with an R and put an X on the things that don't. So do one at a time. You might wanna choose all of the R pictures first. Take my purple marker back up. Let's see, I have a dog. Does dog start with R? No. I have a rainbow. Does rainbow start with R? It does. Circle it. I have a flower here. Now this flower is a rose. Rose starts with R. Circle it. Here's a little raccoon. Raccoon starts with R. Circle that raccoon. Let's go around this way. Cupcake. Does cupcake start with R? It doesn't. Don't circle it. Then I have an apple. Apple, that does not start with R. Don't circle it. How about a cat? Does cat start with the R sound? Nope. Uh, we'll go down. Ring, ring. Ring starts with the R sound. Circle the ring. Then we have our friendly little snowflake. We've been talking about snowflakes this week and drawing some snowflakes and making some snowflakes. We learned that snowmen are made of lots of snowflakes. Does snowflake start with the R sound? No. How about a strawberry? No, that sounds like snowflake. S -s -s snowflake, S -s strawberry. I have a rope. Yes, rope. You can circle the rope. Book, book. No, that doesn't start with R. Rocket, rocket. Rocket starts with R. Circle the rocket. Rain. So this is a cloud and these are the raindrops. So the picture is showing you rain. Rain, does rain start with the R sound? It does. Circle the rain cloud. Now you can go back and check. Dog, no, X. Cupcake, no. Apple, does apple start with R? Nope, X. Cat, nope. Snowflake. No. Strawberry? Nope. And book? Nope. Okay. What's next? Counting. We have seven, 
for today. So we're going over our numbers one by one. Some of them you know, and some of them might be new, but we're practicing writing and we're practicing counting. So here we have seven snails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven snails. This is the number seven. You can practice writing your seven. So here's the seven done for you. And then there's two sevens to trace. I'll trace them. Okay, traced the sevens. And then write seven all by yourself. There you go. Now you give it a try. And then you can color your snails. Maybe a rainbow snail, whatever you like. Okay. Then we have our step by step, step by step snowman. So we have to figure out how you make the snowman. And I'll show you how to do that. I will also show you how to put together You're Sneezy the Snowman. So we'll read that. If you can do the Zoom call, we'll read that together. And there's also a video that you can watch to read Sneezy the Snowman. Now Sneezy the Snowman does some things that are pretty silly for a snowman. He causes himself to melt. So in here, I wanna know what you think would make your snowman melt. So snowmen are cold, things that are warm make them melt. You'll see when we read the book. And here's how you're gonna make a snowman and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now we're gonna make our step-by-step -step snowman. So we have talked about how you build a snowman. Uh, you have to start at the bottom. You roll a ball of snow and you put it on the bottom. Then you add his second part. Now some snowmen you'll see have two parts of their body and another. some have a, a third little head. So this guy just has two. So he has the bottom part of his body and then you put on the second part for his head. Then you wanna add his eyes and his carrot nose. I'm gonna go ahead and color my carrots just to make him a little more fun. Two carrot noses. And then you can kind of see them a little bit better. After you add the two eyes and the carrot, this picture has more detail. What did we add? We'll color them so you can really see. What did we add here? We added arms with some sticks and we added his mouth here with more coal. So here's what you need to do. So now we've figured out what the snowman should look like when he's done. This is the picture of our final snowman. It has the most detail. He has one, two parts to his body he has his eyes, his mouth, and his arms. This is the last picture. This is the beginning picture. So now what you need to do is cut off the bottom of the paper. We've done this before. So take your scissors and you cut straight across the dotted line. This is the easiest way to do it to cut the whole bottom of the paper off first. Then you're left with your pieces of your snowman. Now you cut them into the little squares. So you cut on the dotted lines. You can cut this one off, set it aside. Okay. Cut them into the individual rectangle pieces. We have done this before. Okay, so now I have, we need four. One, two, three, four. And I've cut my four 
pictures. One, two, three, four. Make sure you can see those. Okay, now we have to remember which way you build your snowman from first step to last step. And we're going to glue the snowman pieces into the empty squares. So, get this ready. Our first step is you find just that one snowball for his bottom of his body. Put a little glue. You don't have to turn it up too far, just a little bit. On the back of the picture, can everyone hear Harvey grumbling at me in the background? He's making a lot of noise. Okay, add your first snowball picture. Boop. What comes next? This says next. What comes next? You add the snowball for his head. Take your glue, add a little glue to the back. The back is the part with no picture on it. You need to glue there, so when you flip it over, you'll see it. Just a reminder, we talk about that all the time. Okay, now what comes next? So remember, this picture has the most detail. He has all of the parts of his snowman body. He has the two parts, the two snowball parts, and he has all of his face, he has his eyes, his nose, and his mouth, and he has the arms. This snowman is missing some pieces. It doesn't have the arms, it doesn't have the mouth. We've only added the eyes and the nose to this one. So this one here comes after this snowman that's still just snowballs with no parts of his face. So you add your glue here. Ah, got stuck. Paste it on. Okay. And now we have our last one. He has all of his details. You know this is the last one because it has the arms added. You wouldn't put the arms on and take it away. This is the last one. This is done. Your snowman is complete. So put that one on the last spot. Just like this. One snowball, two snowballs. Add your eyes and your nose. Add your mouth and your arms and he's done. Something is missing from the top of our paper. Add your name. So you should be practicing your name every day. I'll write mine. Capital letters. So my name has two parts, Mrs. Tynan. So we'll put the capital T, Y, N, A, N is how I spell my name. And you write yours here at the top. And now you've built your snowman.